welcome to this reading we're going to look into the messages and check in to the energies for the full moon in Aquarius that is coming up on the 19th of August okay the 19 is the number of the Sun so it's like revelations the full moon in Aquarius as well may come with surprises it doesn't have to be negative expect the best always you could be making a leap or being in or needing to be in a state of surrender at this time that can be the full energy and this surrender could be in the area of work but everything that has to do with eliciting of potential of your potential and this may also require you to make resolutions so situations in which in this resolution is decision so it's a kind of decision making but it's coming within where you are fast moving so it means that there could have been situations that would have been conflicting in the past but now they don't have that power over you so it's a form of reclamation of power as well wow okay so let's see what is coming up what messages do you have the emperor aries aries energy chiron is currently retrograde in the sign of aries so this is all about leadership the first house there could be a leader here, a boss, uh, a CEO, or someone who is just in a place of leadership. It could be you as well. This emperor, queen of cups, going with intuition. So the emperor and queen of cups coming together, it feels like fire and water. Fire and water. So this could come in the form of emotions, a form of release. Nine of Pentacles, staying in a state of abundance, independence, unconditional love. And the Page of Wands is here. There could be a delivery or this is a message or you could be in the position where you are taking messages, justice. A very much balanced energy the Emperor is clarified by two of Pentacles I see justice and two of Pentacles so this is alluding to unblocking in the roots now the full moon in Aquarius Aquarius is ruled by Uranus and Saturn Saturn is currently in retrograde in the sign of Pisces so there seems to be a shift here imagine this two of Pentacles being an hourglass there is a shift something that finished going down and could have been stuck in between there was a blockage here now this is not only turned upside down it's like a kind of reset I'm getting a reset a turn around I see those spirals in the two of Pentacles justice and two of Pentacles are given as above so below but also to do with karma A blockage is being taken out it may be from outside forces nine of cups and this is coming as a wish fulfillment Wow the Queen of Cups is clarified by eight of cups 
both adding up to nine once again. This figure in the Eight of Cups is flying towards the star. So this is connected to purpose, belonging, your space, your stability. The person's energy I'm picking up on is someone who has had to become their own emperor, become their own leader. In the process, they, yeah, they've had to be both mother and father in many capacities. So this is a lot of work of balancing. And now you are reaching a destination that you didn't even know was possible. All you knew was if maybe you were to keep working on your vibration, your frequency of the wish fulfilled through envisioning, through setting goals, staying with it, discipline. Because the Nine of Cups and the Emperor together are given discipline, then you would achieve something but you didn't know what that was. And now you are moving to a time of your wish fulfilled. Everything here is about your fulfillment, that inner peace, the calm, having space within. Queen of Cups and Eight of Cups is clarified by Empress. Empress and Emperor in the same reading. <laughs> wow. I believe this pretty much summarizes what just came. Now there could be two people in the picture as well. Or two energies. Feminine and masculine. The Emperor is Aries and Mars. Empress is Taurus, Libra. Venus. So Mars and Venus is like fire and water. Wow. That came earlier as well. Fire and air mixed with water. Nine of Pentacles, the star. It's just so beautiful. This is something that you have wished for. It's giving an energy of wish upon a star. Wish upon a star. It's like you keep making wishes. And it's like a child who is, you know, who is uh, celebrating a birthday and they're about to blow out a candle and they're like, make a wish. This is what I'm getting. It's like that. Something is going to come out of the blue here. It's going to surprise you. Wow. This is going to surprise you. Okay. And in the most beautiful ways. The world. Saturn is to do with your material wealth, your belonging, and expansion of your world. It may also come with emotions. But these are like beautiful, this is a beautiful connection. With this unblocking process, wow. I will describe the picture I see here. With Uranus in with Uranus in the sign of Taurus, this is all about self as well, potential. There is a major surprise coming in. 
it feels like it's going to shake your world in a beautiful way the nine of pentacles and the star it's unconditional love this is someone who has definitely come such a distance that they they have learned to balance what is inside and given half of what is inside to the outside page of wands is clarified by ten of pentacles very much connected to virgo mother earth saturn the roots again this is a message from Mother Earth. It's about a major unblocking. Ten and nine is nineteen. The number of the sun, new beginnings. So this is coming as a form of a new beginning. A leap of faith. The devil page of wands and ten of pentacles there could be a capricorn in the picture but this two are saturn energies feels like the shadows are working with you here you have support from both above uh, from both above and below as above so below as above so below as above so below in some capacity there is a working together infinity and that is one and seven this is a glorious reading congratulations Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck, Seven of Pentacles, this is Illumination, the Seven of Pentacles is it's like an illumination of your seeds, a blooming of, again, a blooming of potential. Angels and Ancestors, what do you have? messages direction guardian choose your path so this is the same as the world card so after this full moon is coming just around the ending of leo season there's a new path that is opened up and this is not coming with full closure of all the other paths is a way of saying you have an expansion right now it's the jar has been widened you've been given more sorts of sweets beyond that you're told that all of these candies these sweets are good and there is no rush that will this is the wheel of karma one two three four eight sides to the wheel so that is like the eight pointed star of wholesomeness ishtar inanna so everything to do with the underground the nether worlds and the above and Leo season is bringing a closure to the south, but not so much a complete closure, no. It's getting just the right amount of support from the below. This is the whole purpose of this journey you've been on, is to bring together both and become an intercessor of the above and the below. So you have even so-called demons working with you the shadows, the dark and light. 
This is a graduation. Snake. Shed old skin. So this is connected to Kundalini with the devil energy. This is Kundalini energy. Uh, the rising of the serpent from this, uh, the base of the spine. So everything to do with, again, the eliciting of your potential. Of your blooming potential. This is your time to shine. It's time for you to shine your light. Great teacher. Learn from spiritual experiences. So this is like the Hierophant card as well. And that is Taurus energy. Again. Direction Guardian. That is 99. Those numbers could be significant. 8, 8. What do we have here? 9, 9. Connect with your deepest desires. Then choose the path that will make your heart and soul sing. The Direction Guardian card represents the angels of direction these amazing angels are the ones who come to us when we are at a crossroads and don't know which way to go when we are unsure of what is right for us or of the bigger picture they can help us know what is best for all involved the direction guardian card refers to the vision of the hebrew prophet ezekiel who is said to have seen an angel with four different faces one was a child Cherub, Aquarius, one was a bull, Taurus, one was a lion, Leo, and one was an eagle, Scorpio. These four faces show that angels can appear in many guises and guide us in many different directions, but always for our highest good. Your path isn't set in stone, and your angels are, and guides have no expectations for you, nor should you have any for yourself. There are many directions you can take. None of them are wrong, as they all hold perfect opportunities to grow and to learn. But life is to be enjoyed and severed. So, if you know that there is a decision to be made, and particularly if you are feeling indecisive, choose the path you know is going to make you light up, and choose with your heart. Snake. Snake is a warrior symbol. Now, there was a message that came... Remember that just because dark and light are working with you, it's not about letting down our guards or boundaries or even being too comfortable. It's a knowledge, it's an awareness of this and how to use it for your good. Archangel Michael, Leo Energy Ogu, is guarding the south, the roots. Hmm. There's a message com coming there. Beware of the snakes. They can slither their way in any way. It's not for one to be overly defensive or be on the watch out. Again, it's that awareness. It's also a way of saying that you have reached a level where You are closer to the north or the direction in which you're going in more than what you have left behind. It's happening more and more. And for you to be aware of the snakes, especially this full moon period, it's a heightened sense of awareness. So this will apply for you if you are, which shows in every part of this reading, you have healed from a lot and part of that awareness or that heightened state of awareness is not forgetting not because of holding any resentment but remembering helps a lot with focus cast off the old reveal your true colors 
talents and gifts to the world. In many spiritual traditions, the snake offers powerful medicine. In tantric yoga, it symbolizes the kundalini, which is the powerful serpentine energy within that allows you to reach your highest spiritual potential. My goodness. When the sacred ones saw a snake in nature or encountered one in a dream, they knew that there was transformation in the air. For me, the snake card not only represents the shedding of old skin, but moving beyond the limitations caused by carrying the venom of negative thoughts about others or the past. The energy of renewal is washing over your life at this time. If for some reason you feel that your true self hasn't been recognized or you've been misread by others, know this energy is now leaving you. So this next we're talking about again is connected to shadows or shadow energies. As you've been working through your old stories and all the self-limiting beliefs that you've accumulated along the way, You've been peeling away of a shield of skin that has created limiting experiences. Your own personal commitment to growth has been recognized. And now, the external world will begin to reflect all of the work that you've been doing within. If you feel someone you love has misunderstood you recently, they will be able to see beyond that if you're willing to recognize your own challenges. This is a time for renewal, abundance and connection. Let yourself be reborn and celebrated. I say to that. This is a perfect time to round up. We're going to get one card from the life and career deck. Considering this is all about potential. <laughs> Power position. You are being promoted or called to lead. Time to step into your sovereignty and guide others with compassion. Wow. I'm going to stop here for now. I feel blessed by this and I hope you do too. I'm sending so much love and I'll come back with the weekly readings. Do take care. Bye-bye.